Welcome to this full moon meditation and be willing to really allow yourself to go there. So many are addicted to the swipe left and swipe right next dopamine rush versus settling in to go within for the ultimate high and that is when your inner alchemy begins to offer you so much more than anything external and this is a experience for you to have to really go within i'm even getting away from the word meditation um, because I think people feel like there's a right or wrong way to meditate and this is to experience your inner world and however you do that is perfect. And so this is about just coming into a stillness through the power of intention. And yes, will I invite you to use your imagination, but this isn't about needing to see anything. It's about you setting the intention to create the space to commune with the light of your own higher self and sometimes the darkness of your underworld. <laughs> And so that is just my invitation to shut down other things, to come into an area where you will use your breath and we will go into an inner communion. So with all of that, allowing yourself to take some deep breaths, can you for a moment remember who and what is breathing through you? the spirit of all life, your higher self, organizing trillions of electrons to give your body form so that you may experience a soul expansion. Take a sigh of relief. You don't have to do anything to be worthy of this gift of life. You are clearly worthy. You are breathing. Take some breaths into how worthy you are. So worthy that divinity is expressing itself through you. And you know this is true because you are breathing. Just take a minute to commune with your breath for a minute. Feel however you're breathing in just feel it you're breathing in through your nose out through your mouth can you just for a moment remember who and what the breath is for there is no higher level of enlightenment to reach if you can remember who and what your breath is. Let's just start this experience off with this. For 30 seconds, I'm just going to invite you to be present to who and what is breathing through you right now. In this temple space, all names of God are welcome. Holy Mother, Holy Father, we gather with the intention of communing with our higher selves on this glorious season of another full moon illumination that you have gifted to this beautiful planet for flowing in natural cycles and just as our body is salt water the salts of the earth 
we know that during times when your natural cycles are being illuminated it is a beautiful time for us to go within and to illuminate our own awareness and consciousness fully to your divine presence holy mother you are glorious holy father you are strong and i and born in the exact image of you. Can you feel those words, my friend? Can you feel that you are born in the exact image and likeness of the one who births the cosmos? Can you accept how worthy you are to spend time communing intentionally in deep reverence with divinity if you are ready to invite divinity whatever name of God you choose into your life at a more profound level let us consecrate this experience and this communion to a willingness to commune more in our day-to-day lives with the presence the i am presence that which has many names but is beyond a name let us commune allowing yourself to feel this presence that's beginning to make itself known simply through the power of your awareness shifting to it it is always there it is sustaining the quantum fabric of everything now encapsulating yourself in a diamond field of light allow this presence to support you in wrapping yourself in a white light Now focusing on the space above you, the space below you, the space to the left of you, the space to the right of you, in front of you and behind you. Space, spaciousness is of the divine. Breathing into this space all around you. As Pluto and the Sun have recently made a transit and are both in Aquarius, I should think about the water as Aquarius for the water bear. And all this spaciousness around you, as you know your, your tons of space in your body. the most holiest sacred site on earth your body connecting to this water within you this salt water like the ocean just seeing how much space is within you to hold so much water within you for water is a conscious being in divine service to 
to all of humanity, to Gaia. Water is Gaia. You're just taking a minute to thank the waters, the living water within you. the resonance of how powerful water is. If you've ever seen an image of the Grand Canyon, water in its constant flow was able to create such a wonder. This water within you, this salt water, is massively connected with divinity's natural satellite for receiving the moon. And when we begin to allow ourselves to be more receptive and flowing like water with natural's with nature's cycles it can enhance our lives being present to nature's cycles is to be communing with divinity. If you are ready to commune deeper, to hear, to see, eyes to see and ears to hear the revelations from your own higher self, Take a deep breath and know that simply becoming aware and present and willing sets you on the path and that there's nowhere to get to. Where are you going? this never-ending glorious trip to see the wonders of the world there's you can't possibly have an ending point there's so many wonders to experience of the world you could travel every day of your life and still there would be more wonder to experience. There's so much wonderful experiences to be had. You don't have to force manifestation. You don't have to be striving. You don't have to get anything to be happy. There's no amount of money, there's no amount of stuff 
that is worth more than communing with your heart with divinity with God that is present all around us that is present in you that is you your breath take a breath with who and what you're striving for you don't have to strive for it it has been gifted to you freely calling upon the energy of Leo the lion the lioness the courage there is nothing more courageous than being willing to receive your birthright as a child of divinity that many of the organized religions would have you believe is outside of you or that you have your salvation dangled in front of you and that there is not a holy mother aspect and holy father aspect and that you yourself are not part of the trinity holy mother holy father you And Holy Mother, Holy Father, we ask you to bless us with this remembrance and to use discernment in all of the external programming that would seek to confuse us, that would seek to create separation from you or that we cannot go directly to you go on take a breath with who and what can give you more than all the things you're chasing after nourish you comfort you gift you with all the treasure of the world invoking the higher selves of all listening ears and open hearts to offer a healing transmission supported by the Holy Mother and Holy Father calling upon Yeshua who took the death initiation and lit a path casted a path of light to not fear the illusion of death and how eternal life is and that we are children of God that we can never be separated from our divinity just taking a moment to thank this master of light this glorious being of compassion and thanking his beloved Magdalene 
the divine feminine, Christed presence. Thanking any ascended master you may personally work with. And asking them to assist us in our human awareness and always returning back to resourcing our higher self and to communing directly with divinity for supporting us in operating with divinity cycles and to be in constant communion with the divinity um, that is giving life to all things all around us we we ask you higher self to really see the transmission within us to assist us in going forward through our days and weeks ahead to have your blessings in our conscious awareness as we know that they are always there to come back into remembrance and let's just take 30 seconds to allow our higher self the holy mother and holy father and any ascended master that you want to invoke right now to assist you with receiving a beautiful transmission that will serve you for your highest good, which is always for the highest good of all. Allowing that deep breath. And just inviting your higher self to seal these blessings. To just take some breaths in as you and just feel this resonance. Surrendering to your higher self, knowing how to seal these blessings within you for your highest good. And we give thanks to the Holy Mother, Holy Father of all life, our higher selves, and the ascended masters that were invoked by each of us for this beautiful experience of inner communion. I look forward to seeing you in the next experience that we have together. All my love and light. Namaste.